today when you're doing injectors always make sure you lube with oil the o-rings so i got some oil here and i'm making sure it's well lubricated making sure that the uh o-ring is fully saturated make sure it's fully saturated with oil all over it before you put it back inside so these are new ones so you make sure it's fully saturated with oil So you're gonna have the holder in the holder. Uh, if you know the name of it, go ahead and comment. But this would hold the injector down right here. And it's gonna go in with the uh, injector. So uh, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter, 12 point. So you're gonna need a 12 point, 10 millimeter to get that. So once you got your injectors uh, lubricated and everything like that, I'm gonna take this, put it down in there in the hole, and it's gonna sit like that. So let me show you how it sits. So it sits in there just like that. Take your 10 millimeter. Got my 10 millimeter with the extension. And then you're gonna pretty much tighten it down. I tighten it down at least like this first, pan tight. And then I'm gonna torque it and make sure it's going down in there. It's not cross threading or nothing like that. So once it's in there like that, as you can see, once it's in there, I'm going to torque it down. You can see it's injectors going down, it's seating nice and evenly. I'm going to get a torque wrench and torque it. I'll let you know the torque spec. So, this is the part where you make sure when you're putting your injector uh, fuel line back in. So what I like to do is just secure it a little bit first so it stops a little bit of the moving. Then there's a special tool that you use, and this is the tool. The part number is kind of fading off, but I'll try to add that for you as much as I can. But then you would uh, stick it in here, and that's how you're able to turn. A little bit of a process here, but yeah, I have another short on this, but you turn, and that'll get it on. So I'm just twisting by hand. Right now, and you'll see it's getting on there. And it's the same process when you're taking it off. That's how you put injectors in, and injector line. So you're gonna take it, turn it. There's also a torque spec on these, but when I come back around, to torque it, I will put that in the description. So turn yeah, just so it don't get caught. Like that. Back off. <laughs> I'm gonna keep turning it like that. Back off. Do it again. Till it's tight. So 
it's pretty tight. Same thing over here. Screw that in. So you can take a wrench on this part too, because you can fit a wrench over here. Pretty tight. There we go. That's how you install it in there. It's in there, it's tight, and that's when you, and I do the other ones, I put the bracket on there for the electricals. You're going to torque it down with a torque wrench to 15 foot pounds. Nothing much. The lines are going to be torqued to 12 foot pounds. So we're going to use a 5 millimeter Allen key or Allen head here. Got an Allen socket. And that's what you're going to use to get your uh, bracket down. So the one there. Make sure they're even. Right here. Another. Over here. Same thing for the other side. Move on top of the injector. These are going to be a T15. Let's see. Let's get these on here nice and snug. Do a no not to go down too far. And then hit that black part right there. Continue the same for all the rest.